Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> New feature of laughing liberally. They're delivering the news directly to your uh, your text. Here you go. Uh, here's the news. President Biden is out on the campaign trail enjoying connecting with his supporters. Just last week, he was overheard exclaiming, Hey there, big fellow. What a nice firm handshake. Unfortunately, the president said that while opening a refrigerator. In order to help pay off his legal fees and the sizable legal judgments against him, Donald Trump has released a line of Trump Never Surrender Sneakers. Trump insists he designed the shoe himself, which explains why the shoes are made in China, are painted a weird bronze color, and are lacking a sole. Actress Sidney Sweeney has been in the news a lot lately in particular. It has been noted that she is one of the first actresses who is known for, shall we say, being well endowed, and yet, thanks to the woke environment in which we live, reviews and articles about Miss Sweeney do not focus on her endowment. In the past, large-breasted actresses were often defined by their physique, and numerous juvenile and tasteless jokes were made at their expense. I, for one, feel this is a great progress in the way we in the media talk about women's bodies. It's long overdue that actresses be judged on their talent rather than merely their physical attributes. I'm glad we're finally seeing an end to the kind of sniggering, sophomoric jokes made about actresses and their breasts. A lot of people knock Sidney Sweeney for her limited talent. They knock her for her lack of range. But I am not one of those knockers. In fact, I'm sure you would join me in raising a couple of jugs in tribute to Sidney Sweeney and toasting her with the old adage, those who can do, those with big cans do better. Beyonce's new release, Texas Hold'em, shot to the top of the country charts, reminding us all that country music was invented by black people. And we thank Beyonce for providing music that old white people could line dance to. Carrie Lake, seen here at a recent karaoke night singing Bodak Yellow, was to have joined us, but she had to make an emergency trip to the pet store where she had purchased an aquarium earlier in the week. Lake's complaint, she found the piranhas to be too pleasant. Republicans in Congress have proposed renaming Washington's D Washington, D.C.'s Dulles Airport to Donald Trump Airport. Surprisingly, Democrats agreed on the condition that the new name be Donald Trump Memorial Airport. And recently, at a concert, Madonna tripped and stumbled to the stage where she was helped back by one of her dancers. Fortunately, the injury wasn't more serious or she would have needed help from someone else. You know, like a surgeon. Thanks for listening. That's the news.